हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल दिस इज शो मैन फ्रॉम ऑयल एंड गैस फील्ड क्वालिटी कंट्रोल टुडे इज द थर्ड वीडियो फॉर द हाइड्रो टेस्ट ऑफ पाइपलाइन सीरीज टुडे वी विल सी हाउ वी कैन कैलकुलेट द वॉल्यूम ऑफ वाटर रिक्वायर्ड फॉर हाइड्रो टेस्ट दिस इज अ वेरी सिंपल कैलकुलेशंस एंड नेक्स्ट वी विल लर्न हाउ द हाइड्रो टेस्ट प्रेशर हैज बीन कैलकुलेटेड बाय द डिजाइनर एंड we can do it easily by ourselves in case we need to do it on site let us start the pipeline is completely a geometrical shape which is a cylinder if you can calculate the volume of a cylinder you can easily calculate the volume of water inside the pipe so formula of calculating the volume of pipe is pi multiplied by internal radius of the pipeline square multiplied by length of the pipeline in general it is pi r square h from the pipe diameter we can easily get the pipe outside diameter and if you subtract the thickness two times you will get the internal diameter in terms of diameter the formula is pi d square by 4 and in terms of radius it is pi r square h so pipe volume is pipe cross sectional area multiplied by length of the pipe what is barlow's formula for pipeline thickness this is very popular term that hydro test pressure is being calculated by barlow's formula barlow's formula is a calculation used to show the relationship between internal pressure allowable stress also known as hoop stress nominal thickness and diameter if we know these three four things we can easily calculate the hydro test pressure for the pipeline or piping system it is helpful in determining the maximum pressure capacity of a pipe can safely withstand the formula is expressed as p is equal to 2 st divided by d where p is the hydrostatic pressure is hydro test pressure is 1.3 times or 1.5 times the hydrostatic test pressure at any point of the piping system shall not be less than 1.5 times of the design pressure but shall not exceed the maximum allowable test pressure of any non isolated component nor shall it exceed the limits of the calculated stresses due to the occasional loads hydrostatic testing of piping designed for internal pressure the maximum hydrostatic test pressure at any point in the system not less than 1.5 times 1 and 1/2 times of the design pressure for a design temperature above the test temperature the minimum test pressure shall be calculated by this following equation pt is equal to 1.5 into p into st divided by s where pt is minimum calculated hydrostatic test pressure whatever the unit p is equal to internal design pressure kg per centimeter square st is equal to allowable stress or test temperature kg per centimeter s is equal to allowable stress at design temperature kg per centimeter square when st and s are equal test pressure is 1.5 into p where the test pressure as defined above would produce a stress in excess of the specified minimum yield strength or smois at test temperature the test pressure shall be reduced to a pressure at which the stress will not exceed the smois at the test temperature another formula for asmi section 8 division 1 the hydrostatic test pressure at every point of the vessel shall be at least pt is equal to 1.3 into mawp into st by sd where pt is equal to the test pressure maw is the maximum allowable working pressure of the vessel which is similar to smois in the pipeline st is equal to allowable stress at test temperature usually 100 degree fahrenheit and sd is equal to allowable stress at design temperature st by sd called stress ratio initial test pressure sample example for hydrostatic test pressure calculations today we will be taking an example of a 30 inch 0.893 wall thickness 
its API 5L grade X70 pipe as an example. Let us think this is our pipeline material and we will we are deciding the initial hydro test pressure for a new pipeline. First calculation will be considering the 90% of the SMOIS or specified minimum yield strength. The test pressure will be 2 into wall thickness that is 0 0.0893 inch multiplied by the yield strength of the pipeline the grade is x70 so the yield strength will be 70,000 psi and multiplied by 0.9 to represent the 90% SMOIS the whole product to be divided by the diameter of the pipe which is 30 inch the test pressure will come as 3750 psi considering 96% of SMOIS this with the same formula it will be coming 4000 psi now we have to consider all the components present in the pipeline so let's say we have 1500 rating uh, ring joint ANSI flange so as per ANSI standard the test pressure is limited to 5575 psig let's say we have 1500 pound rtj ANSI valves it is limited by standard to body test at 5575 psig seat test at 4075 psig so the hydro test pressure of the pipeline will be 4000 psig if in case this is a pressure test header which has to be hydro tested for safety before inserting in the pipeline so this is termed as test header the test pressure will be 4000 psig considering 96 percent smos limited by pipe wall thickness Another con important consideration for pipeline hydro test is the elevation difference. Construction pipeline does travel through hilly terrains or highs and lows of a country. The elevation difference remarkably affects the pipeline hydro test pressure. In lowest point, it will be maximum, whereas at the highest elevation, it will be minimum. A thumb rule while considering or deciding hydro test pressure of cross country pipeline is all portion of the pipeline shall not face less than 90% of the SMOIS of the line pipe. If we not consider these vital changes and put 90% SMOIS on the highest point and elevation difference is major, there is a chance it will exceed 100% SMOIS and line might explode due to overpressure. Let us take an example how we can calculate pipeline hydro test pressure considering elevation differences. Basis of calculation the test section volume V is equal to pi by 4 d square into L. We already discussed this formula at the beginning during water volume calculation. Maximum and minimum test pressure for 8 inch and 16 inch pipeline maximum allowable test pressure is limited by flange of 900 pound that is 3375 psi as per ASME B 16.5 for 20 inch 30 inch and 36 inch pipeline maximum allowable test pressure is limited by rating 600 that is 2250 psi as per ASME B 16.5 maximum allowable test pressure is 90 percent of maximum test pressure hoop stress resulting from hydro test pressure at 100% SMOS is equal to SH is equal to PD by 2T. For hydro test SH, maximum test pressure multiplied by outside diameter divided by 2 into wall thickness. Sample calculation for 36 inch, outside diameter is 36 inch, so in millimeter is 914 mm, High point elevation, let's say 322 meter, lowest point is 300, test point elevation is 309, and static pressure low minus high is equal to, is equal to if we apply the formula, 322 minus 300 multiplied by 0 0.0981 multiplied by 14.5 is equal to 31.29 psi. Pressure head resulting from the elevation difference between highest and lowest point in the pipeline route static test pressure different from the test cabin to the lowest point is equal to 12.8 psi corrosion allowance 0.126 
kilometer point let's say point 0 plus 120 kilometer point change at start of section to kilometer point 5 plus 680 this is the termination point of the test section length kilometer is 5.56 kilometer volume of water with this formula pi d square by 4 into l 3374.36 then we get the wall thickness is 0 0.688 hoop stress at 100% SMYs using this formula is equal to 58866 into 28 psi so maximum test pressure is 2250 because it is limited by the ASME B16.5 600 pound flange at low point 100% if we consider we will give 100% pressure at the low point so the hoop stress generated at the low point is equal to we are if we are applying the formula it will come 90.56 percent and at the test point it is 99.43 percent so hoop stress resulting from hydro test by SMOIS if you stop the slide you can check the formula applied here all are similar and identical and it is easy to calculate if you remember this formula so you can say at the end we got that hydro test pressure at the test cabin is 2125.34 psi and at the low point is 2137.50 psi maop for your information the maximum acting operating pressure which has been considered during design is 1200 psi here is an example of safety instruction sheet for a pipeline where at the right side you can take the test pressure is 3375 psi and on the left side you can see how the pressure has been calculated for different thickness for the different components present in the hydro test system. Here is an example of hydro test diagram. There is a schematic representation and the test limit shown in in all the cases with some arrow there is always a table present in hydro test diagram which will tell you the test limits and their test pressure the relief valve setting relief valve is set at five percent more than the hydro test pressure two hours for above ground piping we are doing generally two hours hydro test and for the underground pipelines we are doing two hours of strength test then we reduce the pressure five percent continue 24 hours with tightness test and you can see in the table at the right column this test pressure is limited by class 900 pound valve seat so that that was a nice example to show you the hydro test pressure from where to find what are the things to be considered but in summary we have to consider the lowest pressure bear by any component it can be pipe wall it can be flange it can be valve used in the system and secondly for the pipeline we must consider the elevation difference at the low point the hydro test pressure must not exceed 100 percent smos and in all cases pipeline should see at least 90 percent of the specified minimum yield strength or smos that's the end of the topic today if you like my teaching, please inspire me with more subscription and share it to your friends. Thanks a lot. Signing off, Showman.